During all these years selling real estate, I have found myself asking the same questions to all of my buyers. Some have very clear answers and others have to think about it. I am Ines Garcia, your real estate advisor. Do you have answers to all of these questions? Here I will share with you the most important things you need to consider when buying a home. Are you looking for a house to live in or as an investment? The criteria for selecting a property varies depending on the purpose of the purchase. Having this clear from the beginning will help us find the best options for you. A perfect investment may not be the same home you would like to live in. Also, a very important factor that you should take into consideration is how many years to plan to live in the property or want to keep that investment. What type of property are you looking to buy? Each buyer has a specific needs and we have to focus on yours. The options of locations and products are almost endless. For example, some people love condos and do not want to take care of a backyard but while others dream of having an outdoor space. Some need to be close to good schools or their jobs, while for others that is not a priority. Can you differentiate your wants from your needs? We will start looking for your ideal home, but be mindful that sometimes it is difficult to find the perfect one. It is extremely important to find the house that has what you must have. For example, you only need three bedrooms, but you are looking for a four bedroom house because you work from home. We may be able to find a three bedroom house that has some space that you can use as an office. How are you going to pay for the property? Accessing financing is relatively easy and there are programs that require a very low down payment. If you are going to request a loan, you have to consult a bank or mortgage broker to find out how much you can afford based on your income. This pre-qualification will allow you to know how much your payments will be and they will provide a pre-qualification letter required by the sellers when we submit a purchase offer. It is worth checking with various lenders as several financing programs are available. If you are going to pay in cash at the time of submitting an offer, we will need a proof of funds to show that you have the ability to pay for the property. And finally, you have found your ideal home. Now what? The purchase process goes through several stages. First, the offer. Once we find the property you want to buy, an offer is prepared in which the terms of the purchase are established, price deposits, closing date, loan approval, and inspection periods. Second, the executed contract. Normally, that initial offer is negotiated until you have a firm contract. It is important to take into account that the money you gave as a deposit is protected as long as you comply with all the terms and deadlines established in the contract and it will be refunded if you cancel in a timely manner. Within a period established in the contract, you have the right to make an inspection of the property and if the conditions of the same are not satisfactory, you can cancel the contract. Likewise, if you are financing, you have a deadline to obtain a full approval of the loan from the bank and make sure that the property is worth what you are paying for it. And third, the preparation of closing documents. A title company will prepare the closing documents and ensure that the title is clean and the transfer of ownership is done correctly. And finally, the closing day comes and you will enjoy your property for years to come. I am Ines Garcia, your real estate advisor.